Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Angels. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. And on the hill in this one, Reed Detmers. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. The wind of the pitch. Jose Altuve takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. The wind to kick the pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Nope. That one missed. One and two now. Altuve waits. Little chopper rolls foul. Wind in the pitch. Line drive. Come on. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Singing this lineup has the benefit of playing behind a great pitching staff. They've got a really low ERA. Yeah, and you know, with that said, there's not as much pressure on the offense, but make no mistake about it. Guys want to hit the ball hard and they want to score runs. They want to jog around the bases, hitting the ball over the fence. So Regardless of how dominant the staff can be, the attitude is we want to go out there and have some fun with the bat. So we'll see. One big inning in this one, you know, could be all they need, but you'd like to have multiple big innings. No score just getting started, top of the first. Pena tries to hold up, appeal to first, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. And now the lefty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Fly ball to right. Adele should have this one. And makes the grab. And there's two down. That in third. The third baseman, number two. Alex. Now it's Alex Bregman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Next offering is downstairs. The wind to kick the 2 0. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That misses. Three and one.
and a pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. First offering, and it just misses. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Kicks and deals. He swings and fouls one off. Bregman off of first with two away. Next pitch downstairs. Now two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. So the Astros leave one. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the first and towing the slab from Valdez. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Number 38 takes one off the outside here. The lefty, the 1 0. Bounce back to the mound. And that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. Batting second. The designated and now batting Mike no. Trout. No. And that's in there for strike one. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Swing and a tapper. Fires over to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Batting third. Here's Joe no Madden's lineup here. for the Angels. Taylor. Someone who makes things happen for Whoa. them in part with his legs, Brandon Marsh. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Next pitch is downstairs. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. And a pitch. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy, that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time. The 2-1. 
And strike two. One of the unfortunate things is that in this guy's career, particularly early, we just didn't get to see him in the postseason very much. You want to see the best players playing in October. One out and a runner at second. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And the runner stays where he is. Man at second. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And he walked him. Well, he didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So not a terrible result. Luis Renhifo gets a chance to hit here. To first, maybe a two ball. To Diaz for one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. Second inning coming up from Anaheim. No score. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Gurriel having a lot more success on the road this season. Yulieski Gurriel. The pitch. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Kicks and fires. And that one missing low. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Yuli Gurriel comes through. The Astros strike first. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Aledmus Diaz now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 0 1. And that's a strike. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one out now. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul the one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, Meyer. other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. He's got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. And the pitch on the ground right side tosses to the pitcher covering the bag pitcher gets to the bag for the out good late bite on that slider got the hitter out front rolled over on it exactly what he was supposed to do two outs base is empty and next to hit for Houston Jose Siri.
First pitch just misses. And he deals. In for a strike. And it's a ball and a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Next offering is down low. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Two outs on the ground to third. VR with the throw over to first. Out number three. Astros off and running on the solo homer. And a home team down to run. Bottom of the second. Here's Joe Adele. And leading up for the Angels, the right fielder, Joe. Valdez Adele. back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That's a really big swing right there. He's got to remember, with this speed, a walk or a single can turn into extra bases by stealing a base or two. That one in for a strike, two and two. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. And a 3-2. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. He really let that ball travel on the outside part of the plate, but that's a great example that you can still drive the baseball that's away. Rip that one down the line for the double. So in now for the Angels, Jonathan VR. The switch hitter batting right. Popped in the air, left field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in, and there's one down. Batting seven, the first baseman. Number and next for L.A., number 39. In there for strike one. Adele over at second, one down. Got him. Two away. Well, oh, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Runner leads away at second. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And it is two and one. The 
pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. Got him looked in. And the inning is over. Angels strand one. They're down one nothing. Top half of the third inning, Martin Maldonado up to hit. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Now batting. Second baseman. Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. The next to hit. He's 0 for 1. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Late swing, fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Here's a 2 2. Stays alive. Wind in the pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Next offering upstairs. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Grounds one to the right side. Over to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. And that one handled. Throws to first. That's out number three. Astros go down one, two, three, but they're on top, one nothing. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. And leading up for the Angels, the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. Here comes a pitch. And takes low for ball one. And there's a ball.
The 2-0 is in for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. So the batting no order turns over. Number Here's the second baseman, number 38. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty swings and misses. And it's one and one. The wind of the pitch. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One, two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Tucker puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Now that the designated hitter, Mike. Mike Trout, wow. the next to hit for the Angels, grounded out his first time. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Fly ball down the line. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. How about it? And well, now, Taylor, Taylor Ward. Taylor. The 1 0. To the right side. Altuve handles it. Whips it to first. And that's the inning. Angels leave one. They still trail 1 0. Welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, the Alex Bregman. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Detmers back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. Runner on the goal. 
Line drive. That's a base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, just a cookie the down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Yuli Gurriel up next for the Astros. The solo homer his first time. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal. Swing and a miss. The throw, tag, and he's out. You'll want ball one there. The one one. That's the third. Whips it across, and Guriel is out. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. First offering misses the mark. That one fouled off. Here's a one to one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. One left for Houston, but they still lead it one nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the fourth, and now Luis Rangifo. Not shortstop. Louis. Red Hifo. The wind of the pitch. That's in for a strike. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Next pitch is outside, and now it's even one and one. Kicks and fires. Swings through that. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. That one misses in the dirt. Way inside, gets out of the way. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Up the middle to first, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The right fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. So digging in, Joe Adele, good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. 
Gets under it and pops it up. And that will fall. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Jonathan VR up to hit. Valdez moves to first. Adele dives back in safely. Another move to first. And he's back again. First offering and it just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. And a 1 0. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Adele leads off first with one away. Runner takes off. Pitch outside. Throw. Save. Chris's wheels with a difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is downstairs. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. First and second, one out. And next for the Angels, number 39. First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Two on, one out. That catches the zone for a strike. And the count one and one. At the belt and fire. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And now the lefty swing and a miss. And that's strike two. The pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Here's the Angels catcher, Max Stassi. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though. The lefty, the 1 0. Swings through that one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Chases that one out of the zone. That ends the inning. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results.
back in Anaheim, ready now for the fifth inning. And now the center fielder, Jake Myers. The center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. The pitch. In the air, right field. And that is a foul ball. And that one almost got him. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Line drive, base hit. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Jose Siri. In the dirt, blocked. No advance. Good job behind the dish. First offering, runner goes, pitches high, throw to second, ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw, quick, not rushed, and accurate. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two out. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good now job of changing catch speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball. But clearly, that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Two outs, space is empty. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. Oh, that got him. Well, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and now ended up way off target. The second so the lineup Jose flips over. Altuve. Next to hit, Jose Altuve. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Maldonado, the runner at first with two gone. Next one misses, and it's 2-0. and oh. And a foul ball. The next pitch misses, and the count is three and one. Hit in the air, right field. Adele drifts towards it, and the inning is over. So the Astros lead one, they lead it one nothing. Bottom of the inning, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. All well, these fans and definitely the want to get involved in the game. The All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Hey. Pitch is in there. Strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. 
usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one misses, and it's one and two. Next offering way off the plate. Oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Got him swinging, and there's one away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass. It could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Number 38 up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball there. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And he chases that one. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Mike Trout. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. First offering misses the mark. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail here, one nothing. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. Now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. The designated hitter, Jeremy. It's for average power, the ability to feel the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. That's to third. Tosses across the first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Here's Alex Bregman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Marte getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Quijada, the lefty, warming up as well. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch stays alive. The pitch. And he gets Bregman. Two down. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. In there, and it's 0-1. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat.
kicks and deals. Swing and a ball popped up. VR on the move. Makes the grab after a long run. And that's the third out. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Astros one and the Angels nothing. Welcome back. Leading off, Taylor Ward. And leading off for the Angels, the center fielder, Taylor. Here comes a pitch. That's inside. The 1-0. -oh. And downstairs. 2 will -oh count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Next offering misses. 3-0. and oh. And a pitch. And the tying run is on base. Probably tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. No outs. Runner at first. Now it's the shortstop. Luis Rangifo. That hits the dirt. And it's 1-0. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. Ward gets his lead at first. Nobody out. In the air out towards right center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. The right fielder, number seven. Joe Adele. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. First pitch, just misses. One run game, one out, one on. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats, and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Two and one now. Just foul of third with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Hard hit, right side. Base hit into the outfield. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, a big now swing of the bat right there. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. First offering misses badly for ball one. And here it comes. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. The other way, and now maybe extra bases. And now it gets into the corner. One runs in. Adele doesn't stop. Heads for home. Lay at the play. Not in time. He's safe. It's 2-1. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay.
Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. Framber Valdez won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Jake Odorizzi. He's pitching on two days rest. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now the first baseman, number 39. Number 39. Pickoff move to second. BR back in on a dive. That one's in there on one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses inside at one and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Rafael Montero getting loose out there. Ball to strike. That one fouled off. And a ball in two strikes. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Right-hander kicks deals upstairs. And the right-hander deals to the left side, but it is well fouled. And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three, two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Runner leads away at second. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. The catcher, number 33, Matt Jackson. And next for LA, Max Stassi. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the 1 0. -oh. Nope. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. Oh. Two outs. That one missed. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Sengi. Well, you know, these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Two outs with a runner at third. And there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick now free pass. Left field. Mark. So two down now, and here is Brandon March. First pitch, and that's in for a strike.
two on, two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. Right-handed reliever. Slap the other way, foul. Corners are occupied with two down. Next pitch misses. And a count one and two. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Seventh inning coming up. Angels two and the Astros one. Shohei Otani. He's been so good against lefties. Here's Guriel. He launched the solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. pitch right through there for a strike the 0 one Guriel gets a piece Otani he's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations those high leverage spots it seems like he's at his best in these situations and obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in The wind of the pitch. Way upstairs. And that is ball one. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate. And they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff. And they believe that their stuff is better than that guy's getting in the batter's box. What his swing, what his ability is. Let me Diaz now. The mental approach is a big factor, too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural, and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fastball in for a strike. One and two. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up, and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive, and that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, he's out in front just a little bit. Next one misses, two and two. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss, two away. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now the batter now, Jake Myers. And that's in there for strike one. And just hacking like you used to. Yeah, kind of same, just like that, yeah. pitch 
Swing and a little roller right side. Takes it himself, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Seventh inning stretch time. Angels 2 and the Astros 1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Rafael Montero. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Montero. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Now at the plate, number 38. For the Angels, the second baseman. The pitch. Number 38. All ones to count. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. One ball, two strikes. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Righty delivers. In the air, right field. Tucker pulls it down, and there's one down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Mike. Here's Trout wow. for the fourth time tonight. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the first oh, offering is not close. Kicks and fires. There's the strike of the knees. One ball, one strike. The pitch. That one misses, and it's two and one. The pitch. Now he breaks his back. Montero makes the grab, and there's two away. Now batting, center fielder, Taylor. Whoa. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Taylor Ward. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. Now one and one. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The one one. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. On the warning track. And hauls it in. Angels held in check. But they still lead it 2-1. to one. Here comes Ryan Tapera to the hill. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Ryan Tapera. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Siri. Leading off for the Astros, the left fielder, Jose Siri. And the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Adele makes the grab, one pitch and one out. The batter, the catcher, Martin Maldonado. And here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. First offering in the dirt. Bullpen activity starting up now. Rysel Iglesias, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Next offering upstairs. The 
pitch. And a swing and a miss there. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. The next offering misses. And now three and one. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The three one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. And here it comes. In the dirt. Now a throw to first, but back easily. Maldonado, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Pitches downstairs. Right hander kicks deals. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Throw to second. And he's safe. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the bag, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. And deals. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. So now the Astros designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. First offering and it just misses. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Runner at second, two down. Hit to right. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that is that. One left for Houston, and our score remains 2 1. Back here at Angel Stadium, and the batter will be the shortstop, and Luis Rangifo. Angels, not shortstop, Luis Rangifo. Montero back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. Hey. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. 0 and 2 now. Stays alive. Swings and misses. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. He came out of his mechanics there. The right Typically he likes Number to shoot seven. the ball the other way. Joe. But that time, a oh, little anxious. No. So up next, Joe Adele. 
in there, and it's 0-1. Out towards right center field. Myers under this one. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting, third baseman, Jonathan. Villar. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Jonathan VR. One for two. Left field, Siri under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. And the Angels are gone in order. They lead it 2 1. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen. And he'll work on holding this lead. Back in Anaheim, we go to the ninth. Now the third baseman, Alex Bregman. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Here comes the pitch. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 0-1. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. A wide to kick the pitch. And that's outside. And a foul ball. He stays alive. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Next one is off the plate. And that's ball two. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. What out? Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. One for three. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The tying run at the plate. That one ran inside, almost got him. Here's a 1 1. And now just two outs away. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing, get a ball popped up. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now, that, the first baseman, really left the now it's Julie Guriel. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The 1 0. And the 1 0 misses low. 2 0. Guriel gets a piece. Offering misses, full count now. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Oh. 
just one out away. Try to close it out. And that one fouled off. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. And now the shortstop, Oletmis Diaz. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. And he'll one. And ball one. Way out front for strike two. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you've got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The one two. And now two and two. Two two now. And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Is just one strike away. Stays alive. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So they're down to their final out. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. First pitch, not close. Well, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next. Showing a lot of fight right now. They're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. The 1-1. Late on that fastball. And now it's one and two. Got it! The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, a tight two one ball game. Classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today 2 1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. tonight. First for the victorious Angels. Two runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For the Astros, one run, four hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Angels. And now, first pitch your coming your way 2022 next. 2022 Los Angeles Angels. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, Reed Detmers. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next one in the dirt. Bounce to third, and that squirts through. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. The throw to second is offline. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. Runner at second. Nobody out. Next offering is down low. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The one two. Yeah, the one two oh, misses to even the count. And the two two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Belton fires and another ball no outs runner on second swings here and blasts one left field and it's gone home run his 13th home run of the season, and they add a pair. It's 2 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And now it's Alex Bregman. In there for strike one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. The 
the wind of the pitch. That one missing inside. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals, and fouled off. The pitch popped up, and they get Bregman for the out. One down. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Batting second, a really important guy for them. Jeremy Pena. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Here's Kyle Tucker. First offering misses the mark. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty. And he flips the breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Next pitch misses way outside. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And yeah, there's two away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. And yeah, there's a ball. The pitch. That one missed. And he deals. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Kicks and fires. Line drive to short and caught. Two-run shot for the Astros this inning. It's now a 2-0 ball game. We go to the bottom of the first and getting the start from Valdez. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, the they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try baseman. to have some success from the left side. Bottom of the first. Now, number 38. There's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. 
Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering is downstairs. One and one. The one one. Bounce to the right. Guriel takes it to the bag. One up, one down. Batting second. All right, let's take Look a look at the Angels lineup. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Mike Trout watches that one for a strike, standing in here with one down. Out off left side. These guys like this that have so much power, look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. Next pitch in the dirt. One and two to count. And here it comes. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it next one misses and the counts full Mike Trout just a special player a special human does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. That We've seen good. him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue hey, once again early on. Whoa. And the batter now, Taylor Ward. First offering misses badly for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Trout, the base runner at first with one out. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and one. Valdez moves to first. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Tying run at the plate. Trout on the move. Hit hard on the ground is short. Diaz slings to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Batting four. Not shortstop. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And it's second. Runner breaks for third. Strike in there. Throw to third. Out. And that will end the inning. When you get thrown out at third with two outs, you kind of want to keep on running. Not a great decision there as it ends the Second inning set to go. Here's the shortstop at the play. Oledmis Diaz. The shortstop. Oledmis Diaz. Detmers back to work. This one smacked out to left center. And no one can get there. So a man on base to start the inning. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Marsh moving under this one. He makes the grab. And there's one away. 
batting eight, the left fielder, Jose. And now Siri. it's Jose Siri. And first offering is fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. That one misses. Now one and two. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah, even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name, and uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Hard hit to third, and it's through for a hit. Throw into third, and he's out. And into second easily with a two-out double. As a base runner right there, you're making the call yourself. This ball is clearly in front of you, and you've got to know for sure if you're going to be able to make it safely to third. That time, he was wrong as a really nice throw came into third. Martin Maldonado up next for the Astros. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next offering upstairs. Strike two. The pitch stays alive. One and two now. Runner at second, two down. Tapped softly on the ground. On to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Astros two and the Angels nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the shortstop. Luis Rangifo. For the Angels. Not shortstop. Luis. A wide of the pitch. That's inside. The lefty, the 1 0. That's ball two. 2 0. Good That's eye right three. there. Count 3 0. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count is 3 and 1. This one in the air right field. Tucker drifts towards it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Batting fifth. The right fielder. Joe. Here's Joe oh, Adele. Oh. And that's in there for strike one. One down, base is empty. Ball nope. one low. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. 
kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now two gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes it. to shoot the ball the, the other way. Baseman. But that time, a little anxious. Two outs, bases empty. Jonathan VR up to hit. A switch hitter batting right. Into center. And that'll do it. Angels go down one, two, three. And they're down two nothing. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. Detmers back to work. That pitch in for a strike, and that is strike one. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger, and perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Line drive, speared at first. He'll do it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. And now it's going to be Jeremy Pena. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Yeah. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the next pitch is way outside. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Here's a one-two. Way inside, and that hit him. He had him one-two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Baseman, now it's Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. First pitch, just misses. Pena stands at first with one out. Next pitch, misses inside. And the count is 2-0. Oh. To first, and they've got him picked off. To second, and he's out. Next pitch is inside, and now three and zero. Oh. And now the lefty, and that's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Tucker takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. In the air, right side. Adele has a beat on it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. 
So the Astros leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the rookie first baseman. Number 39. And leading off for the Angels. The first baseman. Number 39. And the pitch. There's the strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. And he deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One away. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. In there, and it's 0-1. Now the 0-1. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Here's a 1-1. In the air. Out towards left center. Myers right there to make the grab. And there are two outs. Batting nine. The left fielder. Redman. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. On the ground to third. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Siri throws to second. There's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, Yuli Guriel, leading off from Houston, and a pitch. The first baseman, number ten. Yuli That's down and in. Guriel. Count one and over. Oh. And the one zero. -oh. That one is upstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Bounce to the left side. Throws across the diamond. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now batting. Shortstop. A Ledmus Diaz. And let Miss Diaz now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Next offering is fouled back. Here comes the pitch. And that one a little bit high. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one ripped. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. He's in at second with a one-out double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now He's on the three. night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. 
Fly to left his first time up. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Diaz, the runner at second with one away. Next offering way off the plate. Action in the pen down there. Jose Marte getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Quijada getting cranked up as well. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. And a count two and one. Fouled off down the right side. One out and a runner at second. And a swing and a miss. Two down. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used now to be back. that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics. And they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls. But because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Siri takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. Here's a high chopper. Save! Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So two on with two away. Now, here is Martin Maldonado. And yeah, the first offering is not close. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And it's one and one. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. At the belt and fires. On the ground to short. Rangifo picks it up. Third out, and that ends the frame. Two left for the Astros, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Welcome back. Digging in, number 38. And leading off for the Angels, the second baseman, number 38. The pitch. And a strike in there. All one's the count. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-2 down. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. On the ground. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Wow. And now batting Mike Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Not close with that one. And it's a ball and a strike. Oh, 
puts it in the air out towards left center. Siri makes the catch. Two away down. The center fielder, number three, Taylor. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Tucker makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels held in check. They trail it here 2-0. Jose Marte takes over on the mound. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Back here at Angel Stadium. New inning getting started. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve. The pitch. That one outside. And yeah, that's ball one. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And the count even at one. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, now two and two. Line and a base hit into right. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. I think he made his pitch on the mound. Two-strike count, made him chase way outside the zone, but just couldn't get him to miss, and somehow he found a runner on the goal. Out to short. One away here in the fifth. Up next to the Astros, the third baseman, Alex. Bregman. Here's Alex Bregman. In there for strike one. Altuve leads off second with one gone in the inning. Down on strikes, two out. Well, when you throw the same pitch back to back, that's how you want to do it. Set him up in the strike zone, then extend a little bit from there and see if you can get him to chase. Nicely done with the slider right there. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. First offering misses the mark. Runner leads away at second. Ball that one off the mark. Yeah, that's ball two. No, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Two zero. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Righty delivers. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. The first base Here's Guriel. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers. And this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. 
the pitch. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Righty to the plate. Hot shot to third. Safe at first as they can't make the play. The batter. The you know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden you get another out to get and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. And it's a lead Miss Diaz. Little chopper rolls foul. Two outs, bases are full. awfully close I don't know how you take that he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now swing and a miss looked off balance that time sends it to first the error becomes a move point inning over so they load the bases but leave them stranded home half of the fifth coming up it's the Astros two and the Angels nothing in Anaheim ready to go for the last half of the inning and the batter will and be the shortstop Luis Rangifo not shortstop Louis. Louis. wind of the pitch just oh, off the inside man. edge and the pitch he swings and fouls one off He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Bounce to the right side. Altuve slings to first, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The right fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. And here is Joe Adele. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in there for strike one. And now the count is even. And here it comes. And that skips in the dirt. The 2 1. And that's down it away. Three balls. Three one now. Foul ball. Three two now. And there's ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Jonathan VR, the next to hit for the Angels. 0 for 1 so far. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Adele leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Kicks and deals. And that one off the outside edge. Laced into left. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second down, one out. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And 
These are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. Gets it to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. At the play, Max Stassi, 0 for 1 with a fly out. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two outs, two in scoring position. Deal two. And that's downstairs and outside. Two on, two outs. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Myers makes the catch, and that'll do it. Angels strand a couple. They're still down. It's two zip. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Shohei Otani. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at the ballpark, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton and leading off, Jake Myers. The wind of the pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 0-1. That's a slider for a strike. Action in the Angels bullpen. Austin Warren getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. two now swing and a foul pushed off to the right and that will get out of play next pitch inside gonna count one and two Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction okay. that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Stepping in, Jose Siri. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. The 1 0. That's a ball. Two balls, no strike. Slice the other way and foul. the count two and one smoked in the left base hit 
Makes the turn and heads for second. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Martin Maldonado up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh, now this one gets way at the plate. Well done behind the dish. Right-hander kicks deals. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. And the right-hander deals. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Good looking fastball right there. Surprised he didn't take a rip at that. I think he got locked up a little bit. Kicks and fires. And the slider just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Runner at second here, one gone. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two down. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just yeah, bunched him up the on the inside thing. part of the plate. Okay. Couldn't get around on it and oh, catch it out play. front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Yep. First pitch, and he just misses. Man on second, two down. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two now. Altuve waits. And now it's filled up. pitch and ball four to a board the tag and that's out number three inning over nine one and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the six it's the Astros two and the Angels nothing and welcome back and here is Brandon Marsh and all these fans definitely want to get involved in the game all it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on here comes a pitch just miss left hand hitter waits up the middle now the throw to first on the run and a quick out number one now batting number 38 Number 38, the next to hit for the Angels. First pitch, not close. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. And one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. 
That hits the dirt, and the count's even at two. And now the lefty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 2-2. Two -two. And now the count filled up three and two. And a pitch. Line to left. And a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. Solid swing from start to end. Oh, on time with everything. Oh, really good, good balance. Hit. Nice Come extension. On. And he met it out front for the oh. line drive knock. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Man at first with one gone. Here's Mike Trout. He's a guy who does it all. Another throw over. And yeah, they're keeping him close. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Ground ball could be two. There's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. We're through six full. It's the Astros two and the Angels nothing. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. The designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. Otani back to work. And a foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. Going to count one and two. And a pitch. Just missed. Right-handed reliever. 3-2 now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Got him looking. Now one away. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside, and as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. The Against good team. pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the Tyler. mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. One down. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker, for the fourth time tonight. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1-0. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play.
Ball to strike. And downstairs. Next pitch inside. And that's ball three. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Bregman over at first with one away. pitch the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Second walk of the game for him and he's been really the patient at the play the game plan that he's sticking to he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Looking for some insurance or as our friends down in the south would say insurance no matter how you say it. We know what you mean. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Righty delivers. And yeah, that's outside. Runners at first and second with one gone. And now a full count. Back to work. 3-2 now. And that one in the air center field. Ward brings it in. And there's two down. Now batting. The coach back. So first and second with two outs. Oledmis Diaz now. First offering and it just misses. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Two outs. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Here's a one two. And the one two misses to even the count. First and second. Two down. Next pitch is outside. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. First offering misses the mark. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Next offering is foul back.
The one two. Slice down the right side. At the belt and fires. And a ball That's evens the count. Bases loaded, two down. This one high in the air to left center. March settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Astros leave them loaded. They're up to nothing. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the inning. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Luis Rangifo. Not shortstop. Luis Rangifo. The pitch. And that one sliced foul. Next offering is in for a strike. The Astros have some action in their pen. Hector Neris appears to be getting loose. Montero warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Pitch misses there. Ball one. And here it comes. And it's even up. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Stays alive. The 2-2. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. The next offering misses. Full count now. Now in this three-ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. On the ground to the left. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first and he just gets it there in time one away now batting, right fielder, Joe Adele. so in now for the Angels Joe Adele Whoa. that hits the dirt one and oh Maldonado settles under it. Two up, two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Jonathan. And next for the Angels, VR. Jonathan VR. Drive and that's a base hitter to right. Number 39, the next to hit for the Angels. Valdez moved to first. VR back on a dive. For strike one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. VR off of first with two away. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. one 
the tying run at the plate. That one fouled off two and two. Moved to first, and he dives back in safely. Two-two down. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The three-two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. First and second, two outs. And now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The old one. There's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Siri makes a move towards the gap. Squeezes it. And that is the inning. Angels strand a couple. And they're down 2-0. Austin Warren will take over here, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Back in Anaheim, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jose Siri. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival to take your game to another level. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. That one hammered left field. Way back there. Gone! So he just clears the wall. Third home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front on a breaking ball like that such a good chance that it's gonna hook foul but not this time he kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole now here is Martin Maldonado and that's a base hit and that turns the lineup over well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers the coming into the ball game, Jose but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Fouled off. He was late. A one down. Base hit center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for... Somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. 
No outs, runners at first and second. Now fly ball to right center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Runner tagging for third. He is safe. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage well this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter you can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations kicks and deals and a foul ball some real good life going through the zone on that one Maldonado at third Altuve at first one gone Next offering misses, two balls and a strike. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Next offering clips the zone, count even at two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Move to first. Altuve back easily. And a pitch. In the dirt, but kept close. He's in there. And a payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. Out to short. Zips it across. And they get Bregman for the out. The white fielder, number 30. Kyle Tucker. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. So with second and third occupied, they go for the intentional walk. Base is now loaded, and there's a force at every base. How the big a deal is that ten. walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Guriel at the plate now as he chases after that one. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a 1-1. Next offering misses down and away. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And a 2-1 on the way. In the air, center field. Ward on his way over. Racing makes the catch. And that is that. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 3-0. Bottom of the eighth. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Marsh. And the Halos the in striking distance, no but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one misses in the dirt. Activity 
in the bullpen for Houston, Ryan Presley, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. The pitch. Popped up. Altuve gets under it. And out number one on the grab. Now batting, number 38. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, number 38. First pitch, and he just misses. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. The pitch. Ball. And another ball. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. The wind of the pitch. Guriel makes the play, and there's two down. Now batting the designated hitter, Mike Trout. Here's Trout. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. First pitch just misses. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind him. The lefty, the 1-0. And there's a ball. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. And now the lefty. Just off the outside edge. Here comes the pitch. And that one clips the corner. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. In there and it's 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, do you want him to go early in the count? That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Kicks and fires. That's hard hit in the line. Siri makes the catch and that'll do it. Angels strand one. Still down 3-0. back it's the top of the ninth and there's a new pitcher on the mound Andrew Wants he last pitched two days ago Andrew back here at the ballpark and now Oledmis Diaz leading off for Houston the shortstop Oledmis and a pitch up the middle gathers and throws to first and they get the leadoff man in the ninth.
Oh, man, great diving play over there to prevent the winning run from reaching base. Here in the ninth inning, that's absolutely huge. You love to see that kind of play made in big moments by the defense. Jake Myers up next for the Astros. Now a screamer into the outfield. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. So next up for Houston, Jose Siri. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Activity in the bullpen. Elvis Piguero getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Tap back up the middle. That's the third out. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Astros three and the Angels nothing. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth, and now it's the Angels' cleanup bat. Luis Rangifo, the shortstop. Valdez back to work. Rangifo. And first offering is fouled off. He's been so sharp today. Even over 100 pitches thrown, his skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball manager out of the dugout now and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros bullpen Framber Valdez won't go any further and as he heads for the dugout we'll take a quick break new arm on the mound no, when we get back so here comes now, Ryan Presley to the mound trying to protect this lead Joe Adele getting ready to hit. The right fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. It's always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Nobody on, nobody out. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Next offering in the dirt. And the count is one and one. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Here's the third baseman, now Jonathan now. VR. The third baseman, Jonathan VR. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball there. And the 0-2. One ball, two strikes, The punch out there down on strikes and he knew it well that's a pitch that slider from an opposite handed no, pitcher that you Double usually see down. very well but for some reason he didn't pick it up and it just kind of got into the strike zone late gave up on it a little bit early 
So digging in, number 39. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Myers moving under it. He pulls it down, ball game. And the Astros claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Another outing, another save. That's his 20th of the season, and this was a good example of why they rely on him so heavily in these close games. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, three runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Angels, one run, five hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please Drive home safely.
And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Angels. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. So here's the lefty, Reed Detmers. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. The pitch. Jose Altuve in the box here lets that one go for a ball. The 1 0. Altuve swings and connects deep to left, way back. And it is gone. Jose Altuve will touch them all. His 17th of the year. It's 1 0. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot, and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did, start the game off with a huge bang. Now it's the rookie DH, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy. That hits the dirt, and it's 1-0. Oh. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. And a 1-0. Oh. That's a laser base hit. couple of hits in a row for him here pitch was on the outside didn't go the other way with it but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole no way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion and now it's Alex Bregman pickoff throw paying back in standing First offering misses the mark. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. And here it comes. Nope. Pena gets his lead at first with nobody out. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Out front and foul to the left side. Runner, yes, yes. To first and he breaks for second to second and he's out two two now that one the other way puts it away for the out that in court. Now we check out the Astros lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Jose Siri. 
Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just Whoa, see, right is he truly a machine or not? Kyle Tucker stands in here, leaves that one down. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Just off the inside edge. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. And the pitch. Down the line towards the corner. Marsh. Long run on his horse. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And that's a double. That is good. Yuli the Gurriel comes up to hit. Yulieski Gurriel. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Here's your one. The other way. The throw to first. And Curiel is out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Bottom of the first. And on the hill in this one, Framber Valdez. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy and seems to go. thrive Whoa, in Jones. adversity and the being in reason. some hostile Number environment. Three. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely and like your chances away from your home ballpark. Number 38 stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. And he'll one. Nope. Just missed. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Here's a 1 1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And a pitch. Stays alive. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even second. though he strikes no, out, he saw good. a lot of pitches and he Hard. battled. And this is wow. a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Mike Trout takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. And a pitch. Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to first. And yes, he offered at it. The pitch. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets the out. Two down after the strikeout. Batting third. The center fielder. Taylor. 
Whoa. So two down now, and here is Taylor Ward. Ground ball, left side. Bregman to first, inning over. Second inning coming up from Anaheim. It's the Astros one, and the Angels nothing. And welcome back. Let Miss Diaz now. Leading off for Houston, the shortstop. Let Miss Diaz. The pitch. Ball nope. one there. And now it's even up. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it. The umpire rolls with him. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. And now the lefty fought off foul. The pitch. That's down and in. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Right side. And that chance handled in plenty of time to first leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting seven. The center fielder, number six, Jake Myers. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. That one's in there, 0 and 1. One down, base is empty. And misses inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Out to short. Sends it across the first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Here's another look with Statcast Singy. The throw needed to be strong to beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close, and I think we need to credit that 88-mile-per-hour throw as the difference maker right there. That's just impressive. Two outs, base is empty. Jose Siri will hit next. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next offering is fouled back. Next one in the dirt. In the air, left field. Marsh settles under this one. Brings it in. And that is that. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Astros one and the Angels nothing. 
back here at Angel Stadium. Bottom half of inning number two. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Luis Rangifo. Luis Rangifo. The pitch. That misses. Ball one. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Joe Adele. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Ring Hifo aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch misses inside. And now 2-0. Oh. At the belt and fires. That one's spoiled and the count now 2-1. Here comes a pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Jonathan VR up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. And now the one. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, things starting to unravel out there on the mound. He's giving up a few hits. Now he's hitting guys. He's got to find a way to compose himself, or he's not going to be out there much longer. And now here is number 39 in there for strike one. Base is loaded. Nobody out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. They need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Got him looking. Huge strikeout there. A big strikeout right there. And maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Max Stassi comes up to him. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks Indians. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. This one in the dirt, but no advance from the runners. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Right through there, got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, they were pretty much giving it to him right there. Playing the infield back, all you're looking for on Not offense enough. is a simple ground no ball. you got a tie ball game. Right Not sure what he was thinking up there. A strikeout no. looking is the last thing you want to see. Now you got to hope the next guy can pick you up and come through with a big two-out hit. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. 
first pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. Two outs. Bases are full. Next pitch misses way outside. Brooke, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And a ground ball to first. He takes it on his own, and that is the inning. Angels threaten, but leave him loaded, and it remains one nothing. Back here at the ballpark, Martin Maldonado up to hit. Leading off from Houston, the catcher, Martin Maldonado. And a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. That misses the zone, and a count one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. And that one moves his feet. Two and two stays alive. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two, two down. Swings and fouls one off. Comes a 2 2. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. to the top of the lineup. Jose Altuve up to hit here. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. One one now. Foul ball. One and two now. Altuve waits. Stays alive. Got him. Now two away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. The batter, number three, designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. Now here's the Astros designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. 
Hammer, base hit. And with the inning still alive, here comes the heart of the order. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now it's Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 1. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's in for a strike. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back in Anaheim as we go to the last of the third. Here's the second baseman, number 38. The second baseman, number 38. Valdez back to work. That's through there for a strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The wind of the pitch. Ripped to short. Can't field it cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Here's another look with Snackcast singing. The throw needed to be strong to beat the runner, and it was. Yeah, that play was close, and I think we need to credit that 88-mile-per-hour throw as the difference maker right there. That's just impressive. They're now batting Mike Trout, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. To third. And a couple of quick outs. The center fielder, number three, Taylor. Two outs, base is empty. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. That one missed. That's off the mark, and that's ball three. The pitch. And there's the strike. Well struck right field. That's back there. Out of here. Taylor Ward blasts one out. His 13th home run of the season, and we're all square. It's tied at one. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Now batting. Not shortstop. In there, and it's 0-1. Tied up here in the early going. Next pitch is outside. 1-1. One and one. And he deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. And a pitch. And now two and two. This one in the air center field. Myers settles underneath it 
Puts the squeeze on that one. And that ends the inning. Angels get one with a solo homer. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Alex Bregman. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one drifts inside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. The wind to kick the 2-0. in there and a pitch and he pumps it a strike and here's a 3-2 liner caught it second the right fielder number 30 Kyle Tucker. Here's Kyle Tucker. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. They say it went. Chases in the dirt slider there. Left hand hitter waits. And now the count is even. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And two away now. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And number 10, hitters will tell you that the slider, the when a guy's able to really out. tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. And you go back to the dugout shaking your head. Guriel in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. And now the lefty. Slider misses outside. The wide to kick the pitch. Bounced out to short. Slings it across. That ends the frame. One, two, three, go the Astros. Still tied. One, one. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now, Joe Adele. And leading up for the Angels, the right fielder, Joe. The pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. -oh. And another ball. And it's fouled away. Next pitch inside, three and one now. 
A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The 3 1. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go ahead run. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And next for the Angels, Jonathan Villar. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Checks over to first, back safely. Adele gets his lead at first, nobody out. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. Here comes a pitch. Now one and one. The pitch. Runner at first with no outs here. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. In the dirt. Not in time. He's safe. And that one is lifted in the air. Tucker, long run. Snags it on the run. Runner tags it second. And he's in safely at third with one out. Now batter, number 39. And now the first baseman, number 39. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First pitch, and he just misses. One away with a runner at third. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Next one misses. Ball two. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The pitch. Little chopper rolls foul. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Way back there. Bounces over the wall in foul ground, and it's an automatic double. As they jump ahead, a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run, and that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. One out, runner at second. Here's the Angels catcher, Max Stassi. In there for strike one. Just a slow ground ball this time. Grabs it barehanded, and they get the out. Now batting, the left fielder, Brendan. So in now for the Angels, Brandon Marsh. Grounded out his first time. And that one gets away at the plate. But no advance. That's ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass. And uh, obviously, he's not a big strikeout guy. But he gets soft. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. 
So one run on one hit. No errors and a runner left. On to the top of the fifth we go. Angels two and the Astros one. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth and it's a lead Miss Diaz. For the, Astros, the shortstop. A lead Miss Diaz. The wind of the pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And the pitch. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. That's in for a strike. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. That's towards center. And there's one away. The center fielder of the ship, Jake Myers. So up next, Jake Myers. Lifted in the air, right center field. Adele sizing this one up. Makes the grab, two down. Now batting, left fielder, Jose Siri. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Jose Siri popped out to left his first time. And that one pulled foul. Kicks and deals. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jose Marte, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Quijada getting loose as well. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Gets it to first, third out. Astros are down quietly. They're down two to one. Back here at Angel Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, number 38. The, Angels, the second baseman, number 38. And here it comes. Ball one, no strikes. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ground ball out to short. In time to Guriel. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now batting, the designated hitter, Mike Trout. Here's Mike Trout. Great speed and great power, a great athlete, quite simply. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. And a pitch. That's 
the ball. And a count one and two. And he deals. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. And now the center fielder, Taylor Ward. Line drive. He's got it. And that is out number three. Angels go quietly there as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. The catcher, Martin Maldonado. Detmers back to work. Movement in the bullpen, Shohei Otani preparing to come on if needed. Warren getting cranked up as well. And the 1-0. And a good eye there. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two zero. -oh. Swings through that one for strike one. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. You clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a two zero -oh count, you have to be ready to do damage. And a foul ball. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swung on, popped up on the infield. VR under it. And there's one down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. And a foul ball. Yo one. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Throws it away. Shortstops have to make some pretty difficult throws across the I'll field sometimes. Down. Might have tried to put a little down. too much behind yeah, that one, but clearly he got under the throw. Didn't stay on top. Not a good release point, and it just took off on him. And next is the designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man at second. Late with the swing there. One run game, one out, one on. Gets him to chase after that one. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Oh, 
stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Runner leads away at second. High fly ball out at a left center field. And there's two down. The third baseman, number two, Alex. Here's Bregman. Alex Bregman. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs. Squirts away a little bit. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. Angels two, and the Astros one. Back in Anaheim, bottom of the sixth inning, and now the shortstop, Luis Rangifo. The Angels, not shortstop, Luis. The pitch. And ball one. The pitch. Tap softly third base side, a swinging bunt, and it goes just foul. Next offering is down low. I got two on the count. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch is inside, and the count's full. And now the lefty on the ground right side, and that's just foul. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and, and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. The right field. And stepping in Joe. is the speedy oh, Joe Adele. Joe. In there in its own wall. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Rafael Montero, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Odorizzi warming up as well. Rangifo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. At the belt and fires. On the ground, two ball to Diaz for one. And he'll be safe at first. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the balls. He tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Now it's going to be Jonathan VR. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Oh. 
Out towards left center. Myers on the move to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batter, number 39. Man at first, and now number 39. Next offering is down low. One and oh. Valdez moves to first, and he's back in safely. The pitch. There's a strike. And the pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. One and two here. And there's a foul ball. Pickoff move to first. Adele gets back easily. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swing and a ball popped up. Altuve makes his way towards it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Angels leave one, but they still lead it two to one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Shohei Otani. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Welcome back. Now the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Leading off for the Astros. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. The wind of the pitch. That one misses, and that's ball one. Otani. He's known as a reliever that excels in really tough situations, those high leverage spots. It seems like he's at his best in these situations, and obviously the ability to get the strikeout factors in. The tying run at the plate. Good eye right there. Yeah, there are certain guys that expect to come in and dominate, and they see the challenge, the battle, just a little bit differently. They trust their stuff, and they believe that their stuff is better than that guy standing in the batter's box, what his swing, what his ability is. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And a 3-0 finds his own. The mental approach is a big factor, too, isn't it? Yeah, Boog, it is. And, you know, for each guy, it can be a little different. Some people consciously work on focusing, slowing things down, breathing techniques. And then there's some players that are just natural, and they just seem to be more composed and less excitable. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And first offering is fouled off. A lot of times with relievers, they just like to get amped up, and they're not really looking to try and slow it down, right? They're just trying to get hyper. Yeah, and perhaps make that hitter a little hyper and make him more aggressive, and that way, when they put a wrinkle, change speeds, He's out in front just a little bit. 
the one one fastball and he gets out of the way and just hacking like you used to yeah kind of same just like that yeah and the right hander deals just missed bounce to the left side BR collects sends it to first and that quickly two away the first base number 10 Julieski Guriel. Here's Guriel. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And there's a ball. Right hander kicks deals. And that's in for a strike. Check swing, no appeal, and that's ball three. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Marsh makes the catch, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for Houston, and they trail it here, two to one. So a new pitcher out of the bullpen for the Astros, Rafael Montero. He's been so good against lefties. Rafael Montero. And welcome back. And here's the catcher, Max Stassi. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The line to kick the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside now pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach right that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Left-hand batter waits. Off nope. the mark there. And the count even one and one. Yep. one, and one. Next pitch Whoa, is outside. Fouls one off. Two and two. Right-handed reliever on the ground to first. He steps on the bag, two up, two down. Now back, number 38. 
Here's the second baseman, number 38. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Tucker makes the catch, and that'll do it. And the Angels are gone in order. They lead it 2 1. Here comes Ryan Tapera to the hill. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 52, Ryan Tapera. Back here at Angel Stadium. Now it's the shortstop, Oledmis Diaz. The shortstop, Oledmis Diaz. And he deals. And the slider just misses. Bullpen activity starting up now. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Looking to get the tying run on base. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The pitch. There's a strike. And the right-handers 3-1. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And a pitch. Foul ball there. Kicks and fires. And that one fouled off. Three and two now. Stays alive. Payoff pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. So digging in, Jake Myers. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. First pitch just misses. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. pitch in the air right field way back there pulls it in on the warning track now back, left field. Jose. and now Jose Siri First offering misses the mark. The pitch. There's the strike. Oh, 
righty to the plate. And now one and two. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The pitch. Chopped out in front of the plate. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, you could tell he was stiffing that hit all the way. Great hustle getting down the line. Good bad ball hitting right there. Just kind of threw the barrel at the ball, trying to protect with two strikes, and sometimes it works out well for you. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. Here's the catcher to hit, Martin Maldonado. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Deal one. And that's down and away. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Jose Suarez. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. So two down now, and here is Jose Altuve. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And yeah, the lefty with the 0 1. Good eye right there. Two outs. And now two balls and a strike. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. So the tying run at second to the right side. Tosses to first. And they get out to Bay for the out. Out number three. Nice work from the Angel Pen there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. Angels two and the Astros one. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Here's Trout. He's not going to get cheated up and there. Go. No, he's not. Angels. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Mine. The wind of the pitch. Wow. And takes low for ball one. And a pitch. Check swing didn't go, and it's 2-0. Oh. Fouled off, he was late. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his and career since day one. Angels. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels.
First offering misses badly for ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Next one is off the play, and that's ball two. Nobody out, runner at first. Bat to right. Tucker, as he glides to his left, and puts the squeeze on that. One down. Now batting, shortstop, Luis Renfifo. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Luis Renfifo. One for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0. There's a strike. That one is upstairs. Trap at first, one gone. Montero picks over and diving back is Trout. Two one now. Fought off foul. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Throw over to first. Trout dives back in safely. And the righty deals. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Man at first. And now the right fielder, Joe Adele. And that's in there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Montero throws the first. And diving back is Trout. And a pitch. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Montero keeping him close. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Now we see Rysel Iglesias out of the bullpen, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 32, Rysel Iglesias. 
We go to the ninth, and now the DH, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. The wind of the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Next pitch misses inside at a count one and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now one gone in the ninth. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. So up next, Alex Bregman. In there for strike one. And the right hander deals. Rolled over to third. They are with the throw over to first. And now the Astros are down to their final out. The right so Singy, a close play at first, worthy of another look with StatCast. That was an absolute heater. And she just don't see that type of velocity coming across the diamond every day. Only the best infield arms in baseball reach 90 miles per hour. And he needed all of it to get that out. Bang, bang, play. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Kyle Tucker. In there and it's 0-1. Next one misses and it's 1-1. One and one. one run game here at the top of the ninth. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Got him! And that's the ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. tonight first for the victorious angels two runs on four hits one error they left six men on base for the astros one run five hits no errors they left five men on base time of the ball game two hours and 41 minutes thank you for joining us here tonight and we remind you to please drive home safely
Now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim, an AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. And now, your 2022 Los Angeles Angels. All right, ready to go here. And towing the slab in this one, Reed Detmers. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, but he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. A wide to kick the pitch. In the dirt. And this one is off and running. Next offering is in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. In there. And so now one and two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. One and two now. Altuve waits. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next pitch misses, and a full count now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. That one's in there, 0-1. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Jose Marte. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Righty delivers. And he hits a ground ball right side into the outfield base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, he found himself behind in the count right That's there, the but he didn't give in. You can't do much two. better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. And now it's Alex Bregman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And a big swing and a miss. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Here's the 0-2. Oh, and now a wild pitch. No movement on the bases. One and two the count. Right-handed reliever. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. 
That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Here's Kyle Tucker. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Now the one. Well struck left field. Way back there. And it's gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out. His 17th of the year. It's 3 0. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now it's Julie Guriel. That is it. The first base, number 10. That one the other way, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to kick into the corner. Around first, digging for two. And he'll make it safely. That's a double. He really that shot that one down the right the field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Let me Diaz now. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Guriel, the runner at second with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a 1-1. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The 2-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Next one just misses. Three and two now. The pitch. Got him looking. Two down. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Jake Myers digs in now. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. On the ground. Fires to first on the run. They limit the damage here. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Astros three and the Angels coming up. We go to the bottom of the first and towing the slab from Valdez. Tell us about him in that sub three ERA, Siggy. Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So but taking the mound, the this Angels. is a guy you want out there if you're his the teammate, and I expect him to be number good in this one. Bottom of the first, and now the rookie second baseman, number 38. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. Swings and misses. One gone here. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. That exactly. But that time, a little anxious. Mark Brown. And now batting, Mike Trout. Nope, First offering, the misses the mark. Counts one and oh. One down, base is empty. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Slice to right, dives. What a play! That is good. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to his spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. Now the batter now, Taylor Ward. The foul ball. And he deals. And fouled off. The wind and the pitch. In the air on the infield. Altuve in position. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Angels held in check. They trail in this one 3 nothing. Shohei Otani gets handed the rock out of the pen. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Top of the second and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Siri. Off for the Astros, the left fielder, Jose Siri. The pitch and downstairs. And it's even up. One and one. The pitch. That one hammered center field. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting nine. The catcher, Martin Maldonado. Martin Maldonado up to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right hander deals. Oh, Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. The wind to kick the 2 0. 
way high. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. The pitch. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And a 3-1 on the way. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The batter. So the Houston the lineup baseman. turns over. Jose Standing in is the Altuve. power hitting second baseman, Jose Altuve. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. And a pitch. in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Maldonado, the base runner at first with one out. The punch out there, two away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Pena, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Next offering upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, down. Riding to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. One left for Houston, but they lead it 3 nothing. Bottom of the second. And now it's the Angels' cleanup batter. Luis Rangifo. The Angels in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. And it's fouled away. All in one now. Just off the outside part of the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Tucker should have this one. And there's one down. Batting fifth. The right fielder. Joe. Adele. Here's Joe Adele. In there for strike one. Deal one. That one fouled off. That missed inside. Now one and two.
the pitch. Ground ball right side. Tosses to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. The third baseman, Jonathan VR. And next for LA, Jonathan VR. The switch hitter batting right. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1's the count. And now the lefty. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Next pitch has popped up. Bregman drifts towards it. Makes the catch in and over. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, onto the third inning. Here's the third baseman, Alex the Bregman. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Otani back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. And the righty deals. And that's outside. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one away. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal now, movement, but right most of the good ones Kyle have both vertical depth Tumble. and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. That one is absolutely belted. Pulls it in on the warning track. The first baseman, number 10, Yulieski. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And now the count is even. Two outs. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The one, two. Late swing fouled off. And a one two. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for the Angels, number 39. The first baseman, number 39. The wind of the pitch. And that one missing low. Hey. 
The next offering misses. Two and oh. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Next offering is down low, and the count's full. And a pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. two and a foul ball he stays alive quite the matchup we're seeing here six foul balls in this at bat alone really making him work out there and a swing and a miss and that's the first out man that looked like a pretty good swing and I was waiting for it to get hammered somewhere I mean breaking it. ball but he just somehow missed it timing looked solid and his balance was there. He wasn't out on the front foot. Great pitch to hit, but just came up with nothing but air. So, I'll tell you what, that's not a good feeling at all. Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. Good defender. He's been in. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Batting ninth, the left fielder, Redden. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. They say it went. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Left hand batter waits. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. And a pitch. That's outside. Three balls and a strike. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3 1 count. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Three and two. 3-2 on the way. On the ground right side. Whips it to first. And that is the inning. And the Angels are gone in order. Still down 3-0. Welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's going to be Oledmis Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Going one. That was straight queso right there. The other way, and that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. The center field. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And the batter now, Jake Myers. And a foul ball.
pitch. And a foul ball. The 0 2. Got him swinging. And there's one down. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, yeah, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. And now it's Jose Siri. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. That misses off the outside edge. Rips that one center field. Has some trouble with it. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Martin Maldonado. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Kicks and fires. There's the swing and a miss. On the ground, right side. That's a base hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Back to back base hits. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. We'll say Altuve up to it here. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Diaz on third, Siri at second, Maldonado over at first with one away. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That's out number two. Oh, that's a curve ball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Next is the designated hitter, Jeremy Pena. First offering misses the mark. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The pitch. In the air, foul off first. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Astros leave them loaded, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back in Anaheim, bottom four. Now it's the second baseman, and number 38. The Angels, the second baseman, number 38. The pitch. In the air, left side. Siri under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One up, one down. Now batting, the designated hitter, Mike. Here's Mike Trout. Wow. 
all around. I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Yeah, and that's downstairs and outside. The Halos still looking for their first hit in this one. Stays alive. And a pitch. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So a man aboard now with one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against okay. a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Runner on at first with one gone. Now Taylor Ward. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next pitch is in the dirt. Now 2-0. Oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Bounced up the middle. Oh, great stop. To first. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Flied out his first time. In there for strike one. And he deals. And a base hit up the middle. Here comes Trout flying around third. He will score. And it's now a two-run game. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. Two on, one out. And next for the Angels, Joe Adele. Right fielder, Joe Adele. In there in its own one. Next pitch is inside. And one and one. At the belt and fires. Misses outside two and one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Foul ball there.
Here comes the pitch. And delivers outside. Three two now. Lifted in the air out to left. Siri gets there. He's under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Jonathan VR up to hit. First time up was a pop out. First pitch, and he just misses. Ward on second. Ring Hifo on at first with two down. High fly ball out to center field. Myers pulls that one down, and that's the inning. We played four. It's the Astros three and the Angels one. So they turn things over to the righty, Andrew Wants. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The third baseman, number two, Alex Gregman. The pitch. Bregman leading things off and takes a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Elvis Piguero getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And the next pitch is way outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Right-handed reliever. And that one ripped to left. And they get Bregman for the out. One away. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's the just frustrating beat. when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next Kyle. time up, he'll find a hole. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. A wind in the pitch. That's ripped to right down the line. And that ball is gone. Another homer. His 18th home run of the season. It's 4-1. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely. And he gets the, the jog around the base is good for him. Guriel in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Next offering misses. 
Two balls, no strikes. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the plate. Three and one. And the righty deals. That clips the corner. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws to first. And Guriel is out. Up next to the Astros. The shortstop. Aledmis Diaz. Aledmis Diaz. Up next for the Astros. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. And there's a foul ball. The 0 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. In the air to left center, Ward. Has this one sized up? That is the inning. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Astros four and the Angels one. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman, number 39. The, Angels, the first baseman, number 39. And the pitch. There's the strike. One missed. 0-2 oh, count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And now the lefty. And down on strikes. And there's one away. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a oh, lot of the strike easy. zone. Sure, it had some good arm side yeah. run at the end to move to the outside yeah. part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Max Stassi comes up to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the pitch. Curveball drops in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes. One, two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. 
And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think now that's a strike Let's if he takes it. Pretty right textbook there. pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels. And then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. That hits the dirt. One and oh. Next offering is in for a strike. That's in there. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Down. Next Ready offering down, down in the dirt. Next one misses, and it's a full count. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Two down, nobody on. And yeah, there's ball four. So do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Valdez moves to first. The throw is wild and it gets away. Marsh leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch is downstairs. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two outs. Good eye right there. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. There's a line drive to left field. Myers racing over to make the catch. Angels strand one, and they trail it 4 1. Back here at Angel Stadium. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And stepping in for the Astros, Jake Myers. Right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And fouled off. Oh, and two now. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Kicks and fires. 
Fought off foul. Meyer stays alive. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Right-hander kicks, deals. Out to short. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now batting left fielder Jose Siri. Now the left fielder Jose Siri, and he's already singled in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And here it comes. And another ball. And that one. Wrapped foul. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off two and two. Kicks and deals. That one down the line and foul ball. The pitch. Got it. That's the second out. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might oh, be a cold be ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Two outs, space is empty. So next up for Houston, Martin Maldonado. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. That one ripped. Makes the play, and it's out number three. One, two, three, go the Astros as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Trout. And leading up for the Angels, the designated hitter. Mike Brown. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one off the outside edge. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. Backhand reach, but it gets by him. Safe at second with a leadoff double. All over that one right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. One for two. The center fielder, number three, Taylor. Fought off foul. Four. Runner at second, nobody out. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Hard hit, right side. And it goes just foul. Next offering is down low. Next 
That hits the dirt. Two and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. And now it's the Angels' cleanup bat. Luis Rangifo. That one ripped right center field. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. In a second, no play. A run comes in on the play. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He put a great swing on that ball, took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Now at the plate, Joe Adele. Now batting, right fielder. Joe. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, no. And he deals. I got a ball, one strike. Ring Hifo over at second, one down. The next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. This one blasted the other way. Down the line, and it's a foul ball. This one high in the air to left center. Siri ranging into the alley. Makes the catch for the out. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Jonathan VR stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Action in the pen down there. Rafael Montero up and throwing. Neris getting loose as well. Next offering is downstairs. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Runner at second, two down. That one ripped left field. Back there. Out of here. Jonathan VR goes deep. Third home run of the season, and we're level. It's 4-4. velocity a changeup is really a break for a hitter he got a BP fastball didn't move a whole lot and he absolutely tattooed it and next for LA number 39 now batting number 39 first pitch just misses And now the lefty. And a foul ball. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. And a ball evens the count. drive base hit right center field and now it rolls all the way to the wall 
And he's in at second with a two-out double. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. Framber Valdez won't go any further, and as he heads off, he'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. The no, Astros turn to a new arm on the mound, no, Jake Odorizzi. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. So, runner at second, two down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Max Stassi. First pitch, not close. Next offering is down low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two outs and one in scoring position. And that one sliced foul. Runner leads away at second. And a swing and a miss. And on second, two down. And a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two now. Fly ball down the line. Tucker glides to his left. Pulls it in on the warning track. Seventh inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Austin Warren gets the call from the pen. He last pitched two days ago. Back here at the ballpark, here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Tied at four. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Elvis Piguero getting ready to come in for Joe Madden. Two zero. This to third. VR with the throw over to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Next to hit, Jeremy Pena. One for three. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Rips one to right, and there's a hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Now, oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high-leverage spot right there. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Alex Bregman. Hammered on the line, base hit. Around third. He'll score, and the Astros take the lead. It's 5-4. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
And at second with one away, Kyle Tucker, the next to hit. First offering misses the mark. Bregman, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Well, this is a little tough for the hitter in the back of the mind. You're wondering with first base open, am I going to get a pitch to hit? you got to stay back. Let your hands work. Stay in the middle of the field. And it's second. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, you can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. But you won. Line drive, base hit. Here comes Bregman around third. He'll score easily, and it's 6-4. Well, there you go, the RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. New pitcher now, Ryan Tapera. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Ryan Tapera. And let Miss Diaz now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Belton fires. Foul ball. Runners are at the corners. One away. Got him. And now two gone. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same yeah, side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Jake Myers getting ready to hit. In there for strike one. Runners on first and third, two away. Foul ball left side. Next pitch is outside. That's a really good take. One, two. 
Swing and a miss, and that is that. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Astros six and the Angels four. Welcome back. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Brandon Marsh. And up for the Angels, the left fielder. The wind and the pitch. Marsh. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now that number 38. Here's the second baseman, number 38. one slider misses outside that one outside and it's two and one and the right hander deals now this is in the air down the line. Tucker under it. And there's two away. Up next for the Angels. The designated hitter. Mike. Now it's the DH. Mike wow. Trout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. This ball is hammered. Deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. That was a moonshot. And they slice into the lead. It's 6-5. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. So digging in, Taylor Ward. The center fielder, number three, Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. The tying run at the plate. And that misses off the outside edge. In the air, out towards right center. Tucker makes the catch, and that'll do it. But they draw within one thanks to the solo homer. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Astros six and the Halos five. Back in Anaheim, and stepping in is the speedy Jose Siri. The left fielder. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Pitch is in for a strike. Strike one. And the righty deals. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. 
Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. One, two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner now win. With two strikes, you just struggle to put Martin. the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Martin Maldonado will hit next. First offering, and it just misses. That one fouled off. pitches downstairs and that one is lifted in the air Marsh gliding to his left makes the grab two way down now batting the second baseman Jose Altuve. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. And that one hammered. That's bad. Pulls it in on the warning track. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Astros six and the Halos five. On the mound now, Hector Neris. He's been so good against lefties. Number 50, Hector. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Luis Rangifo. For the fourth time tonight. And well, he came out clutch earlier in this ball game and really just stop. needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. And there's the strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Looking to get the tying run on base. Pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Right hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. There's a ball. Here comes a pitch. Got him. And that is a big first out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner no, really makes this no, inning no, a bit no. more interesting. No. But now this offense has to switch oh, from no. possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. In there, and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Mm -hmm. 
and a pitch. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. So in now for the Angels, Jonathan VR. Little bouncer out in front of the plate, and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Two down, nobody on. Late that time, and it's strike two. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. The 0-2. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Oh, he brought it back. Angels held in check. Still a tight ball game. It's 6 5. Elvis Piguero gets the ball now, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 59, Elvis Piguero. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now the number two hitter, Jeremy Pena. The designated hitter. Jeremy Pena. And the pitch. Good eye right there. Count one and oh. The pitch. Swing and he breaks his back. Over to first. One up, one down. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. Bat explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Here's Alex Bregman. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Right-handed reliever. Late swing, fouled off. And here it comes. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count is one and two. Movement in the bullpen. Jose Suarez. The left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose. Here's a one-two. Now fly ball to right center. Pulls it in on the run. And there are two down. At the play, Kyle Tucker. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter, way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. offering upstairs good purpose pitch right there trying to tease him get him to raise his sights pop something up and make it an easy out next offering way off the plate gosh Boog, I think he's trying to deke the pitcher there's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch Not even close there. 
all three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Guriel in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Figueroa throws over. Tucker dives back in. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. In the dirt, but kept close. And it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds. Figueroa picks the first. And he's back safely. The pitch. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Gathers and throws to first. And the inning is over. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Astros six and the Halos five. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Ryan Presley, trying to protect this lead. And welcome back. Bottom of the ninth. Now here is number 39. What are you looking to do in these spots? You're down a run. You're leading off the inning. He's not a power hitter, a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing. So he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat. Ultimately, however he can, get to first base. Guriel handles the chance. And there's one away. The catcher, number 33. Max Stassi. Digging in, Max Stassi. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Dominating strike out there now on just three pitches, and that's what a good power right pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, oh. filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. And next for the Angels, Brandon Marsh. And that's in there for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Good pitch right there, tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Next offering is fouled back. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. And the 0-2. to third 
Knocks it down. He doesn't have a play, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. Now back, number 38. And next for L.A., number 38. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Next offering is in for a strike. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Check on the runner, and he's back standing. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Two outs. And the one two misses to even the count. Just one out away, try to close it out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Just one strike away. And just misses with that one. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Angels down to their final out. Here's a speed threat. Mike Trout. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. First pitch just misses. Well, he's already in some trouble and fallen behind in the count makes it even worse then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this and a pitch behind two and one really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far he doesn't look anxious at all righty to the plate fouled off left side two outs both the tying and winning runs are on and a swing and a miss the tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, all you want is a chance going to that final frame. They got some base runners, had the tying run at second, the winning run at first, just couldn't come through with the big hit. On the other side, nice job to battle through it, close out the win. 6-5 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, six runs, ten hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. For the Angels, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 28 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please... Drive home safely.